Welcome back to the Final Four comparison. In this video, we'll test our four sites zeroing process and sites can't awareness. The zeroing process is an administrative task that you want to get over with as fast as possible and without any complications, especially when you are in the field. The EOTech has two screws and can be used with a screwdriver or bullet case if improvisation is needed. The two screws are located next to each other on the side of the optic and can confuse the shooter who is used to zeroing elevation with the knob located on the top of the sight. The aim point zeroing screws are located apart from each other and can easily be identified. They're covered by caps that can be removed by hand or screwdriver. A screwdriver or shell is necessary to adjust the zeroing screws. The MSC screws are located apart and can be easily identified. The zeroing is done without tools, using a pop-out knob similar to the ones used to adjust an analog wristwatch. Once finished, pushing the knob back in will disengage the zeroing mechanism. The Trigicon zeroing screws are located separately and can be easily identified. They require a screwdriver, Allen key, or a shell case to adjust them. The winner of this challenge is the MSC site with the unique feature of the hand-adjustable pop-up knobs Second place is Aimpoint with the protective covers. Third place is the Trigicon for their basic robust mechanism. And fourth place is given to the EOTech due to the poorly located adjusting screws that may confuse the user. Cant awareness is very important for accuracy. If the weapon is tilted, it means that the ballistic trajectory is compromised and will affect accuracy at long ranges. A dot will look the same even when the sight is canted, but if the reticle is equipped with vertical or horizontal lines, the user can fix the position of the rifle and assure its accuracy. Therefore, the winners of this challenge are EOTech and MSC, receiving each 3.5 points, and third place are Aimpoint and Trigicon, earning 1.5 points each. Coming up on our next episode of the Final Four Reflex Sight Comparison, we'll test our sights to see which is the ultimate sight for CQB scenarios, and we will also test the stealth of the sights in day and night environments.